trouble with your tablet, try to fix your issue by restarting, refreshing, or resetting your tablet with these easy steps. First, try to restart your tablet. Swipe in from the right edge of the screen. Tap Settings and tap Power and Restart. If your tablet does not respond to touch, you can restart the tablet using the Power key. Don't worry, restarting your tablet using the Power key does not delete any of your data. Press and hold down the Power key until your tablet turns off. To start your tablet, press the Power key again. Note that a green light turns on briefly when your tablet is restarting. If restarting doesn't fix your issue, you can refresh Windows without losing your personal files. First, go to Settings and change PC settings. Then, tap Update and Recovery and tap Recovery. Now you can get started. Just remember to connect your charger. Note that it may take up to 15 minutes before your tablet is ready. The final thing you can try is to reset your tablet to factory settings. Remember that this will delete all of your personal files and other data on the tablet. Make sure you have backup copies of your files on SkyDrive, on an external hard drive, or on a memory card. If you're signed in with your Microsoft account, it's a good idea to sync your Windows settings to SkyDrive. This way, after you reset your tablet, you don't need to personalize your tablet again. When you're ready to reset your tablet, first connect your charger. To perform a complete reset, choose to fully clean your tablet's memory. When the tablet is fully reset, you can set it up again and reinstall all your purchased apps from store. To get the latest updates for your tablet, first go to Settings and tap Change PC Settings. Tap Update and Recovery and check now to start searching for available updates. If you want to install the updates right away, tap View Details and Install.